It's indeed a great honor to introduce our new Chief Executive Officer for Calgary 2026. And please join me in welcoming our new CEO, Mary Moran. I'm extremely humbled and I'm honored to stand under the cauldron of the 1988 Olympic Games and do what I can to build on the incredible vision of some of Calgary's greatest leaders of more than 30 years ago, whose effort has left a positive impact on every corner of this city and every corner of this province. Our legacy is a proof that the Olympics and the Paralympic Games have the power to transform a city. We have a similar opportunity right now to show the world that we can do things differently once again. Do things that work for us to ensure the youth benefit well into the future, the same way that we have all benefited for the last three decades. We grew up with the legacy. I'm a product of that. I trained here. This was my home. Windsport COP was my home uh, at least five days a week. Uh, the Olympic Oval also training there, using the weight rooms, and then moving to Canmore to be a part of that facility and, and training there now seven days a week. Uh, that legacy is hugely important to the future generations as well. And that allowed me to become Canada's most decorated winter Paralympian. And I'm very proud of that, but I'm also even more proud of the fact that our next gen is coming up very, very strong. And we see that within all the sports and they also rely on these legacy facilities. Mr. Doobie was here last week, one of the senior folks at the IOC, made it clear that there are less risks to a Calgary Canmore bid than most or all of the Olympic bid candidates. The statement is true based on our existing world-class facilities and infrastructure such as where we're standing. We have an advantage with our legacy still in place and Calgary and Canmore can do these games our way with a volunteer community that is second to none.